So it's me, your boy, K. Samson. <laughs> I have something amazing. You know, it's just like a birthday cake that I carry on. A birthday, special birthday cake. You get what I'm saying? So the Lord is saying, not on my watch again. <laughs> not on my watch again. <laughs> what does that mean? Not on his watch will death triumph over you. Not on his watch will you cry again. Yes, they have tried a lot. They have fight you. They have done evil. But the Lord is saying, not on his watch again. <laughs> they have mocked you. I know. You that is watching me. Yes, I know. You have passed difficult time. It looked like no one care about you. It looked like no one want to be with you no more. It looked like you are abandoned project. It looked like you are, frust you are frustrated. You are abandoned, rejected. But listen, they get one song that we used to sing. I'm a divine project. I'm not a be abandoned. I'm a divine project. I'm not a be abandoned. I have a contract with my God. He will never abandon me. Until I finish his contract. Oh, in my life. Oh, in my life. I'm a divine project. I'm not a be abandoned. Mm, I'm a divine project. I'm not a be abandoned. Listen. Shira Kamisha Kanabad Nego. That we are not abandoned. Until we finish our contract. Oh, in my life. Listen, why am I, why am I singing this song? No matter what you are passing through, no matter how many who stood against you, no matter the type of people who stood against you, the Lord is saying, not on his watch again. That sickness is over, not on his watch again. That delay is over, not on his watch again. That barrenness is over, not on his watch again. That pain, that thing that makes you to have sleepless night, that thing that makes you to cry day and night, the Lord is announcing and saying, not on his watch again will the enemy triumph over you. Not on his watch again will you cry. For he has stood up and said, not on his watch. Yes, it may be they have triumphed. It may be they have done a lot. They have damaged you to the extent that whenever you look at your past, you feel there is no hope for the future. Whenever you remember your past, you feel like giving up. But I'm here to tell you, the Lord is saying, not on his watch again. Why? Because the Bible said in his word, in, in the word, the Lord said in, in his word, he said, affliction will not rise for the second times. The Bible said, he, he, they said, even if our God did not deliver us, we are not going to be committed to your idols. The Bible said, they, they put them in that flame fire. They were there. The place was turned to a cold place. And the Bible says they hide, they hit it again, they put it more. The Bible says immediately the fourth man appeared. That fourth man is the one telling me, uh, giving me the information to announce to you through the word that God has stepped in the life of Elijah and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That is not under his watch will you pass pain again. For affliction will not rise for the second time. Listen, it will not rise for the second time. You get what I'm saying? It will not rise for the second time. Drop that one one as a confirmation for the sign of a choosing. Two, 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 three, 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 nine, nine, nine. You get what I'm saying? Oh my God, oh my God. I feel like going. Affliction is not under his watch. Pain is not under his watch. Will he rise again? Says the Lord. You are conquered. You are overcome. For he has overcome the world. And on the cross he said it is finished. So remember, bless and be fruitful. You get what I'm saying?